Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another SAS haul. I know two weeks in a row, but I decided to go back because there's some crazy things out there that I'm seeing on everyone's Instagrams that I was so interested to find. So I did hit up my um, outlet store again this weekend on Saturday. So I did already do a walkthrough of it on the first day of SAS. I was there right when they opened. So if you wanna see that, I'll link it up above. And I did already do a haul from that one and a few other stores as well. So I really didn't need to go back, but I wanted a few more things. So I did go back and I did do a walkthrough, which I posted before this video, if you wanna go check that out as well. But anyways, all of that to say, this is gonna be a Bath & Body Works SAS outlet haul. And I did actually stop at Victoria's Secret after, so I'll just show you guys what I got there as well after this. It's not a lot, so I figured I'd just add it into this video. But yeah, so excited to show you guys what I got. If you're excited, go ahead and comment down below if you've already been or anything like that. And subscribe. I do post Bath & Body Works content three times a week. I do a vlog and then two other random videos throughout the week on Wednesday and Friday. So I hope that you will subscribe down below. It really helps out my channel, but let's get into the haul. Let me fish out my receipt here so I can tell you guys the prices on everything. But honestly, the most interesting thing that I was not expecting to find at my store is mint chocolate swirl. I found it, I'm so excited. So yeah, this is mint chocolate swirl. It came out, we think, not for sure, in the, the Canadian exclusive line that had sugar coated and then like the sprinkles one, I can't, confetti sprinkles. Um, we think that this one came out in that collection as well. It's really, really cute. You can barely read the writing, honestly though, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, but it is like a mint color spray. It's so gorgeous. And I'm really sad that it's only available in a mist and they don't have it in any other form or they haven't found it in any, of, any other form. Cause I really would love it in a shower gel, a lotion, whatever. Oh, it is so good, you guys. I, oh my gosh, it is so yummy. It definitely has a heavy musk scent to it though. So if you don't like musk, you're not gonna like this one, but it has like a mint. There's absolutely no chocolate that I smell in this one. I don't get a single bit of chocolate, not one bit of chocolate, but I get mint, musk, a little bit of maybe coconut. I don't know, I love this scent though. It's absolutely amazing. I think it's so smart of them to rebrand it as something else, but definitely does not have any chocolate to it whatsoever, at least to my nose it doesn't. So, and there's no scent notes on here, so we can't really tell what it is, but that's the first thing I got. And I'm so over the moon excited about this scent. So that's the first thing I got. And then I did get, I went, I went into the store wanting body scrubs and I got three. <laughs> I did not mean to get three, but they were all ones that I wanted. I honestly wanted like a summery one, but they didn't really have, they actually had zero summer ones besides the sand scrubs. And I really hate that formula because it gets all over your shower. So I didn't pick that up. But the first one I got is Vanilla Be Noel. I love this in the whipped sugar body scrub. That's my favorite body scrub formula from Bath & Body Works. I had it last year in Winter Candy Apple. I've had it two years ago in Vanilla Be Noel. It is so, so, so good. It's like, such it's such a good whipped texture to it it's so yummy okay the notes on this are fresh vanilla bean sugar cookies warm caramel whipped cream and snow kissed musk honestly vanilla bean noel is one of my favorite scents i know the last couple of years it hasn't been scented but in the shower gel and in the um body scrub it still smells great so got this for three dollars very excited about that one and then I did pick up two fall ones. The first one is a marshmallow pumpkin latte, which is usually not my favorite scent, but I think in the sugar scrub, I can really get down with it. Um, I don't like it in the mist and I don't like it in the lotion. For some reason, when it mixes with my body chemistry, it smells, mm, it smells off. Like it smells like it's turned bad. So it doesn't smell good when I leave it on my skin, but I think if I just wash it off in a scrub, it'll still smell really good. The notes on this one are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, and creamy sandalwood. And I think this is one um, from Mexico. I think it is from Mexico because the second language on here is 
um, Spanish, and then I think that's Arabic underneath it as well. So yeah, just really cool what you can see at the um, outlet store. There's always stuff from like different countries. Might even be from Europe. I've had viewers tell me that they have um, some stores in the Middle East, so I did not know this. So thank you guys for telling me that. But yeah, I think this one's definitely from overseas and it is sealed, which is crazy. They never seal these unless I guess you get them online. But yes. Oh, it's just like a nice, simple, I don't really think there's a lot of pumpkin to this one. It's just like a nice toasted marshmallow latte kind of scent. So really excited for this one. I can definitely picture this in like a shower routine in the fall and just looking really cool because it's like orange and everything. So very excited about that one. And the last scrub that I got also for $3 is Sweet Whiskey in the Celestial Body Scrub, which this formula is so gorgeous, you guys. It is literally iridescent. It's so pretty. I cannot wait to use this in the shower. I've never tried the Celestial Scrub from them before. I'm assuming it's going to be a lot more gentle than any of the other scrubs. This one, um, the whipped sugar one is actually pretty heavy of an exfoliant. I would say like medium to heavy, like a six or seven out of 10. Um, and this one is the foaming sugar scrub, which I think, is that the same thing? No, this is whipped sugar scrub, this is foaming. I've never tried the foaming one either, so I'll have to let you guys know about that one, but I think this one's gonna be very gentle. Um, the notes on sweet whiskey are golden amber, vanilla infused liqueur, and sweet red berries. I had this one in mini body care last year and really loved it. So I'm excited about this one. I actually really do like this scent. It is like such a soft and gentle berry vanilla scent. It's very sophisticated, very sweet, and just, I think, a, a beautiful scent overall. They had a ton of this collection at the front of the store for $3 and it was like really cool to see. So that's everything for the body scrubs. And then I did pick up one men's body care item. They had these for $3.95. This is White Water Rush in the body wash or the two-in-one hair and body wash. The notes are fresh white water aromatic bergamot and white cedar. I got this for Ryan. Right now he doesn't have a Bath and Body Works shower in shower gel in the shower. Um, oh my gosh, this one's so yummy and like clean and fresh. I think this is gonna be really good because it's super hot outside right now to come back home from like a workout or whatever, super sweaty and gross, and you take a shower with this, you'll definitely feel very clean. So picked up that one for him. Um, also on the $3 table, I found a Sunshine Mimosa Perfume Spray Mini. $3, you guys, are you kidding me? The packaging on this is also like super gorgeous. It's got little bubbles coming up like a mimosa. I thought that was a really cute touch for them to do, but this scent, is really yummy. I do have it in the um, the moisturizing body wash. So I'm actually really excited to have the perfume to be able to pair it with it. But oh my gosh, that's so beautiful. Very, very citrusy. A lot of citrus in this one, but it is really yummy. And I think this is gonna be really good for the summertime. So very excited to have that one for only $3. You cannot pass that up. Okay, on to the $2 section. They had a bunch of travel size minis and hand creams and I picked up in the stars and the hand cream. This one, I just figured I'd try it out. I've actually never used the in the stars body care before, but I do really like this scent. I was going for something like more sophisticated and it really is. It's very beautiful. I could definitely see myself picking it up in the body care in the future, but yeah, pick that up. I do love their hand cream formula, especially if you can get it on sale for $2. Really, really good deal. And then on the 75% off table, I did get a little bath fizzy. This is the Sweet Christmas Berry Bath Fizzy, and it is originally $10.95, so I got it 75% off. Let me look on here. So I paid $2.74 for it, so $2.74. That's like a three dollar um bath bomb so i think that's pretty good i'm gonna honestly you guys i just got this to do a shower routine in the future or a bath routine actually in the future like december christmas time i think it's gonna be so cute so that's the only reason why i bought it so two dollars and 75 cents you cannot beat that okay the last thing i got was also on the 75 percent off table and this is probably the best deal out of everything that i bought today and it is a gift set that originally goes for $14.50 and I paid $3.62. And that is the Kitchen Lemon gift set in your Simply the Zest. I think these are so cute. It's got a hand cream, a little pocket back, and a hand soap in here, all for $3.62. So each of these items in here was like $1.20. 
that's such a good deal you cannot beat that i usually give these out as christmas gifts so i should have picked up more honestly but i only thought of one person that i could give this to so it's a very very good gift idea so that's the last thing that i bought so my total was 27.30 sorry no with tax it was 29.56 so under 30 dollars for all of this and this and this and this <laughs> so yeah i got a lot of stuff for under 30 dollars really really good deal i'm super excited about those body scrubs and the mint chocolate swirl i'm so excited to have this one in my collection it kind of looks like willy wonka now that i look at it so yeah but that's everything from bath and body works thank you for watching that if you want to see what i got from victoria's secret then just stay tuned if not thank you so much for watching okay victoria's secret i did not get any body care i looked but i don't know i just really wasn't interested in victoria's secret or pink body care but i looked at it it smelled good but i just really didn't care for it the first few things that i did buy were a few pairs of underwear actually i love victoria's secret underwear but i only wear bikinis so i did pick up a um seamless black pair and then a bikini brief blue pair so i did pick up those two and those were um 4.99 on sale so picked up those and then this is super random but i picked up these beautiful rainbow sorbet shorts they're like little sweat shorts they're adorable i could not get over how cute they were I'll definitely use them as sleeve shorts, but I think that they would be cute enough to wear out and just put like a white tank top with it for like the summer. Super cute. So this was $34.95 originally, and I got it on sale for $17.47. So pretty good deal. I also spent, uh, oh my gosh, I spent $29 at both stores. That's so weird. $29.71 at Victoria's Secret, $29.56 at Bath & Body Works. How funny is that? Yeah, they're super cute. I really love this color. I love the pastels. The like blue fade to purple, fade to pink is so cute and I can't wait to wear these. So that's everything that I picked up from Victoria's Secret and from Bath & Body Works. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. Let me know what has been your favorite SAS find. Have you found any gems? That's everything for today's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.